bird in the hand beats two in the bush. That's what they told me anyway, you know. But listen, if you have any problems uh, financially, um, making sure that you financially straight while taking care of your loved ones, stick around to the end. I'll probably be able to give you uh, some help with that, all right? How you doing? If you don't know me, my name is Kion Church. A lot of people call me Mr. KC. What do I do? I connect the paychecks to people's pockets. I connect paychecks to pockets. Meet the new boss of in-home health care. Uh, hashtag live if you're here with me in the live broadcast. Hashtag rebroadcast if you're here with me in the rebroadcast. Uh, like I said, my name is Kion Church. What I do is I help family, I help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now, uh... Having a good day. Listen, this is like my second favorite Friday in a month. You know what I mean? My first favorite Friday is Payday Friday, which was last Friday. But today is just as good as Friday as that. You know what I mean? We still holding on to some ends from last week. And we got a, a paycheck coming again on Friday. So, you know, this is like second best Friday in the world. Look, if you're here with me, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. You know, give me some thumbs. Give me some hearts. Give me some Facebook love. I came on here to talk to you today because I'm realizing I'm spreading this good, big-hearted caregiver message out, and some people are, are they still trying to figure it out. They're scrambling. They're like, oh, I don't really know. You know, my parents need a little extra. What can I do? So I thought about it. A lot of uh, case managers, a lot of social workers called me this week, and they say, hey, KC, I really, uh, I've really been sending a lot of people your way because of the things that you've been talking about. Now, I, I wanted to get something straight for the people on here today. Everybody that's in Medicaid long-term health care, what you want is you want a, 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 a attendant care. See, a lot of people got you fooled and they thinking that you want self-directed care. You don't want self-directed care. Self-directed care, if you're the client, that means you have to uh you have to keep your eye on a direct care worker. That means you gotta do out, you gotta do pay slips, that means you gotta do time cards, that means you gotta do a whole lot of stuff. Whole lot of stuff. Listen. If you like my father or if you like anybody else who needs a little care, you, you, you need a break. You need a break from all that. And you need some good people. You know, you need that bird in the hand. That's what it's all about. That's what the bird in the hand is all about. KC with Reliable Aid, we're going to be your bird in the hand. You no longer have to worry about how you're going to fix it, how you're going to manage it, how you're going to run it. Look, I got a good team together and they're called Reliable Aids. They're big hearted caregivers, you know. Now, <clears throat> contrary to the popular belief, because I had a lady call me up the other day, and she was like, oh, you know, I, I need my maid to do this, 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 this. I want her to do that. I want her to do that. And I said, ho, 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 ho. Listen, we're not maids. We AIDS. A-I-D. A-I-D. We big-hearted caregivers. And we give the care to the people who need it, not to the greedy people who don't want to do nothing for their uh, for their relatives. They just looking for somebody to come in and uh, and do their job. This is for people. This service, see, listen, this service is not for everybody. You know what I mean? Not for everybody. I don't even want you to get confused because you may have Medicaid long-term health care, and it still don't be for you. Because this is for, this service, I'm going to tell you, we're going to define it all. Look, it's Friday. Look, y'all, be don't be afraid to ask me anything while we're on here. But this service is for good people who are trying to maintain their standard of living. You know, you being a client, I'm sure you want to maintain your standard of living. You've been getting up, running your whole life, doing doing your thing for all this time. Nothing needs to change now, you know. And for you who are the caregiver at home, you're taking care of your parents and your loved ones. Listen, you don't want anything to change. You want mom and dad to have that quality of life. You need that. They need that. They need that just to be them. You know, I'm going to put it to you like this. They brought you home from the hospital, right? I know they did. I know they did. They they kept their eye on you while you was outside playing in the sandbox. They made sure you were straight, had all your clothes and, and, and everything washed for you, meals prepared, you know, took you back and forth to school, helped you out during your whole life. All we doing right now is just giving back. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that's here with me that, that, that you know, that loves their blessings, loves their parents, loves what they're doing. You know, a lot of big strides this week. People calling me all over the place thanking me. Look, KC, one lady said, KC, we miss you on the airwaves. <laughs> Look, I love it. I love being on the wire with y'all. Listen, things are going great. I want to give a couple shout outs while I'm here. Look. Shout out to the Division of Health and Social Services. They allow me to renew this 
good old pasta license today. You know what I mean? A friend of mine, Mike Brown, you know what I mean? He helped me out with our uh, our emergency preparedness plan. And we even came up with a COVID-19 uh, emergency plan. Now, you know, this COVID thing is sticky, tricky. And if you're not with a company that does not have an emergency preparedness plan or a COVID-19 emergency plan, you're leaving your parents in the wind. These are the kind of things that you need. You want to be with a professional service. This is attendant care versus self-directed care. Once again, self-directed care, you got to figure it all out yourself. Who, who got time for that? I ain't got time for that. If you got time for that, then, you know, hey, you know what I mean? Do whatever it is you got to do. But if you don't have time for that and you want to cut to the chase, get straight to the bottom of the line, you know, with, with, with all the good help, reliable aid ink. 302-689-3240. But look, before I leave you today, what I need you to do, I need you to go on anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver. Now, look, I got a podcast over there. I don't know. I think it needs a little help, but I'm going to need you to help me. What I want you to do is go to wherever you download all your podcasts at. I don't know. You can go to anchor.fm uh, forward slash big hearted caregiver. You can go to Spotify. You can go to iTunes. You can go to uh, SoundCloud. You can go, we got, we, listen, the big hearted care, Mr. KC is everywhere. Y'all know him everywhere. We're not playing with this thing, man. You know what I mean? Bird in the hand be two in the bush. Your bird in the hand is right here. All I need you to do is check me out. So look, don't forget to, uh, don't forget to share this, you know, start a watch party. Think about your broke cousin that's at home at his mother's house. He's not even at home because he don't have his own home. He's at his mother's house laying on the couch while she has Medicaid long-term health care and, uh, they could be bringing some money in together. You know, think about them. Start a watch party. Do what you got to do. You may have to tag his name in the comments for him to pay attention. I don't know. Do whatever it is you got to do. But don't let this good help get away from you because you know somebody that needs it. You know somebody. You know what I mean? Open the door and let them all in. All right? Look, don't let anybody shame or blame you in the, th in, in the thinking that taking care of other people is a bad thing. We're doing this to get our blessings. You know what I'm saying? The other people that's not into helping other people... I don't know. They they weirdos. We not like them, you know. So don't you be like them, cause we not like them. And listen, special shout out to the sick, uh, the sick and shut in. The sick and shut in. A lot of people, you know, they they coming up with this COVID. They got to check in. Some people at the hospital now, you know what I mean? Checking in. Look, we love y'all. Make sure you take care of yourself, cause we need you to make a uh, safe uh, return. We need you to make a safe return on home. Do what you got to do. We love you. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Don't forget to uh. Start a watch party, man. Share this thing. Throw some hearts, loves, you know, some uh, whatever. All that Facebook good stuff. You know about it. Talk to you soon. Take it easy.